Hey guys, how's it going? Let's jump into a game here. Okay, it looks like we're playing the black side and e4, e5. Bishop's opening. So against this, what I like to do is bring out my king's knight first, which puts pressure on the pawn. Just seems a little more forcing. But I'm going to get into this Berlin game pattern. That's how I think of it. I know it's not the Berlin game or Berlin defense. But it's what I do. Whoa, 1376. This guy is pretty good. I'm going to get ready to castle. And we also want to prevent that pin. That's something I've, I'm going to start doing. I, I don't like getting this knight pin because I don't know how to deal with it. I'll be honest, guys. I don't know how to deal with it. Huh. Okay. Now... I can defend. He's given his bishop an escape square. So I can't go after him. He's playing really well, in my opinion, guys. This is a pretty solid game right now. If I jump in here... Seems pretty good. I could trade off that light square bishop. But he could jump in here. And then takes, takes, and I have and that's a fork. Oh, that would be bad. Or wait, sorry, I, I wouldn't even have my bishop here yet. If I jump. Sorry, wait, if I go here, yeah, he jumps in, and then I can't take him. It's the same trap that happens in the London system. I get forked. Okay, so if I jump in here first, that seems reasonable, because what else is this knight going to do? Why not? Let's jump in. And if our friend jumps into the same square, I'm going to kick him out first. I think that's going to be good for me, but it, I can't say for sure. Totally symmetrical game so far until this point. It's kind of funny. All right, now I'm probably going to take with the pawn, even though that's just going to encourage him to jump in. I attack, he attacks me, and then I give up my... Oh, yeah, why don't we just take with the bishop? Holy smokes, he pre-moved that bad boy. What does that mean? <laughs> what the heck was that? Okay. But what's the point of that? He can't jump here. He can't jump here if I move. He That means he's either going to go right back where he came from, or he's going to go here, which does... Ooh. No, I would just take it, I think. I'm going to drop back. He must be jumping. I mean, there's no point otherwise, right? He's not going to jump back to the same square. What? All right, he's unpinning. Dude, this guy knows what he's doing. He's got a plan. He's got a plan. Makes me feel like I'm walking into something, guys. All right, so he wants to push this pawn. And then if I take, he's getting in. Right?
How do I stop him from jumping here? Well, I could jump. I could jump here. And then if he chases me, I jump here and I'm happy. Although I do lose a pawn, don't I? But he's opened up his king. I think that would be worth it. So let's see. I go here. If he jumps here, I take and he opens up his rook. Which doesn't... Oh yeah, and he has this double attack. But it's okay because I have two defenders. I think I can get there in time. I think I'll be okay. I'm going to go for it. This is probably a terrible move. He could also sack his bishop right now. Though I don't know why he moved his king first. He obviously wants to move the pawn. This move is nice because it stops both things, kind of. I guess not. I don't know. Now I can jump here, which protects that square. Somewhat. If he kicks me out, then, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do, but he has weakened his king. So I think that's still a win for me. And now, guys, he cannot play f4, at least immediately. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of thought he might do that for some reason. Oh my gosh, he can... He can get in there, can't he, guys? All right, so I think I'm going to go here, which attacks that pawn in case he takes. And if he attacks me, I don't know. Maybe I need, maybe I should have done this instead. Yeah, I think so. But, well, hold on. No, I didn't want to give up my bishop necessarily. Things are starting to open up. We're going to be making some trades. So my bishop pair might have power here. Okay, so if I drop back, he ta Oh, man. If I go here... If I go here, he pushes... Oh, this was bad. This was all bad. Ah, uh, what a disaster. All right, so if I drop back, he's going to push. Yeah, this was, a, this was a dumb idea. Oh, man. That was, that was just not a good plan, guys. What can I say? Uh, is there anything else I can do here? Give up the bishop? No, that doesn't give it up. It just delays. He's just going to take with the queen. I was thinking this somehow. All right, if I go here, he's going to just push another pawn. It's just a free pawn push, right? So what's the point? Counterattack the knight. It is a very strong knight. If I go here, he's going to probably take the pawn, right? But then he can't jump back to the center. If I go here, takes, takes, takes. Oh, yeah, that's ugly, actually. All right, you know what? I give up. You can have the bishop if you want. That was... I, I wasted a move. That was my... Hopefully my first blunder of the game. Now, if I play C6, I was going to say C3. 
His knight can't come back, which seems good. One, two, three defenders of that square. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm getting to be in trouble, guys. He doesn't want to come back here. He's protecting this square from my bishop, isn't he? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I'm probably losing this game, but that's okay. Let's see here. Bring my queen in. I could actually go all the way to here. Double attack on this pawn. But he can just kick me out. So I don't see much point. Let's see. If I go here, we're adding a defender to this square, which is nice. I kind of like this move. Queen to f6. Is there anything wrong with that? He can't attack my queen. Oh yeah, he can, very easily. But then I we just trade queens, and it's fine. I'm a pawn down, though, so like I said, I'm probably losing... can't believe I haven't gotten my bishop in the game. It's so sad. Where do I put him, though? Like, no, no, no. Well, this would be fine. Takes, takes, and I have a battery. Push. Yeah, I'm I'm in trouble, guys. I think my best shot is bishop pawn takes takes. Yeah, that I don't have a shot at all. Yeah, I'm just losing. If I go here and he takes with the knight, then we take we trade queens and we're happy. But if he takes with the pawn, wait a second, wait a second, push, take, take. See, I could let him take because then when I when I recapture the pawn, I have a battery. Well, he just has to move his knight. Probably to like here. So never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is this is a rough position. I'm I'm I know I'm losing. Push this pawn. What does that do? Well, if he pushes this pawn, then we both have bad bishops, and that's fine. Push this pawn. That would be fine. I don't have to push either pawn. I'm just going to move my bishop. I'm connecting my rooks. I, I don't know what else to do. I don't know, guys.
Oh, he... No, he can't jump in here. But I have to remember that this pawn is pinned. I should probably play... Actually, that's what I should have done right now, probably. King h8. Let's go ahead and do that. He's going to push this pawn, though. I probably should have played rook out, shouldn't I? Let's see. Take. Take. King. <laughs> queen up. I, I don't know. I don't know. No, queen can't go there. Queen here seems reasonable. Hmm. I mean, that's like literally my only move, I think. So, whatever. And if he attacks me, I don't know what to do. Queen here? Yeah, this guy's just too good. He's a new player, already 1376. Who knows what his real rating is? He Oh, 15. Oh, wait. Oh, that was a different game. I'm sorry. 1560 is his peak rating. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm just getting beaten here, guys. That's just how it is. Let's offer a rook trade. Try to defuse the situation a little bit, you know what I mean? Because it's rough. It's rough out here. That knight, turns out, is in a fantastic spot. I thought this was kind of a terrible knight because I wasn't letting him get back in. Right? But he's very powerful just controlling those squares. He doesn't need to be on those squares. Kind of crazy. It's a good, good lesson for me, I guess. What? Was that a mouse slip? Oh, he wants to bring his pawn in. Um, well, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh Gotta stop the pawn somehow, guys. Now I'm two pawns down, by the way. I didn't even notice that. When did I lose an additional pawn? Oh yeah, right here, when he forked me. Oh boy. So he can't defend, yeah, he has to defend here, but... What about if I just put a bishop here? Takes, takes... And we get rid of the queen, at least. Okay, so... Take... Oh, shoot, he can just take me with the rook, because it's guarded by... I can give a check. I don't know, there's there's nothing here, guys. I'm just losing this game, let's face it. Being completely outplayed. I can give a check and win a pawn.
Let's see. Check. King moves up. Hey, let's attack that knight. Ooh, guys, double attack on the knight. Oh, yeah, that just dropped my queen. All right, yeah, we're done. Wow, guys, I got completely demolished. What can I say? Let's check the game review and see where it all went wrong. Whew, just a very good game by my opponent. So let's jump into this part. So this h6 was okay. Not the best, but excellent. It's good enough. Putting my knight in the middle was a good idea. Taking with the bishop was correct. Look, guys, we're playing decent moves. So that was not good. Yeah, I did not see that he was going to get this fork. And then I didn't see that he was going to win the bishop anyway. That I'm surprised that's considered a good move. This doesn't make sense. And now where do I go? What? C6. So I just counterattack. Oh, because it potentially gives me a nice little central pawn structure. That's interesting. He takes... Interesting. Huh. Uh, oh well. Moving my king was a big mistake. Yeah, my opponent found the move. And that was a terrible idea. Yeah, how did I not notice that my queen is undefended? How long has my queen been undefended, by the way? Oh my gosh, look at... Oh, yeah, defended by the bishop, but now I lose the defender. Ugh. Good move by my opponent. Oof. All right, guys. Well, that was a painful game, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.